Uh, so there were some really interesting Google Messages updates that got announced this week. I had a briefing at the very beginning of the week mm -hmm. to go over all of them, and it seems like they're going to make Google Messages quite a bit better. Yeah, you were kind of mentioned this the other day. I haven't heard it yet, so I would love to hear about it as someone who has to still sit inside Google Messages yes. all the time. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, what happened? Yeah, so there were a lot of different changes, and my overarching sort of takeaway from all of this is that one, they're still really trying to make RCS happen, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is good. Uh, and two, for the people that don't have access to RCS for various reasons, they are just trying to make SMS conversations better as well okay. with a lot of really interesting kind of like workarounds and hacks. Um, and that's nice because then Apple has no say over what Google does. True. So Google's sort of able to do this stuff without Apple just like making your life terrible if you don't have an iPhone, mm -hmm. right? Um, so this first thing is actually very deep and near to my heart. I, I was going to say, okay, so I you told me you were like, I kind of want to talk about this on the podcast. I was like, yes, I want this to happen because there are times we'll be in the office and you'll just be like something about Google messages and iMessage and then I'll just see you turn your head, put your headphones on and just like focus in on your computer. I'm like, oh man, David's going uh, off about something yeah. <laughs> right now. Yeah, I feel like every couple of months, I just have a tweet storm about how much <laughs> I... It's specifically about emojis and emoji reactions. Exactly, yep. Um, so this first update has to do with emoji reactions. And okay. just to give a little bit of context, uh, prior, way back in the day, which was only a few months ago, you know, you had that <laughs> terrible situation where if you were in an SMS thread with iPhone users and Android users iPhone users were able to send a tap back or react to any message in yep. the thread, but then everyone would get this separate message that said, this person liked this message, yeah. or this person loved this message, or emphasized. And that was annoying for everyone, right? And I think the, the reason was that, I mean, Apple needed to be able to send the context of what you were doing of what you were doing because mm -hmm. you, you can't not send that reaction in some form because then there's like literal information loss yeah. in the conversation. Um, but it was also useful for Apple because it made it so that when you would do that, it would annoy everyone and they would just bully everyone into getting an iPhone so that everyone could use iMessage and see stuff natively, right? Yeah. So Google built out RCS. Um, and they've been trying to get Apple on it with their whole get the message campaign, which is not working very well. No, it will probably no, not no. work. Uh, but Google just decided that they were going to hard code emoji reactions into Android phones. Okay. So now if you were in an SMS conversation with an iOS user and they reacted to a message, instead of sending you the message that would say like this person loved this message, it would intercept that message, and instead of sending the message, it would stamp that emoji yep. on the message. So all of a sudden, how the turns have tabled, right? The Android users now had a better experience because they didn't have to see that whole separate message, Yep. right? Okay, that was step one. <laughs> then, um, when iOS 16, there was this whole thing that happened where on Apple's website, they ended up sort of like taking credit for that change that Google made. Oh, yeah. And I personally think that they didn't do that on purpose. I think that this was a communication error because there was there was an actual change in iOS 16 where it would still send the message that said this person loved this message. But instead of saying this person loved this message, it would say like David heart emoji quote. They just sort of changed the way that it looked and okay. used the emoji instead of like writing out the okay. emotion, right? <clears throat> okay. And then <laughs> uh, Google recently, just this week, this is the change that they made. Now, in an SMS thread, you can emoji react to SMS messages. So now Android users actually have the best experience even in SMS threads. Because not only when an iOS user reacts to your message, do you just see the emoji? You can also emoji at iOS users. And now okay. iOS users will get a separate message that said, Oh, they get David. the message. Yeah, <laughs> they oh, get boy. the message. So Google literally turned the tables on this whole situation. That's fantastic. So now the only thing that Apple could do is now hard code in Google's emoji reactions. And then basically everyone just has emoji reactions, which is amazing. 
you might be giving Apple too much credit. That do you think they'd go that way? I well, so now the only thing that they are doing is pissing off their own users. I agree with you. I don't want this to sound like I don't agree with you. Mm-hmm. Do you, do you honestly think that's what Apple will wind up doing, or is there going to be like, okay, I'm imagining a world, and I don't think this is that unlikely. I am I am the iMessage user who's always been doing it, who always likes to make fun of green bubbles. By the way, if you are that person, shut up. It's so <laughs> stupid. Yeah. It's, if you're arguing over bubble color, yeah, no one cares. Next yeah. time, um, at me. Yeah, I, at me. I get yeah. why it's frustrating. Yeah, sure. But I it, get how but some things I, are. But it's sure. still dumb. It's still dumb. So, yeah, I see a world where people in iMessage are now going to be like, "You use Android, and you reacting to my things are screwing up my messages and annoying me. This is your fault." Yeah, that's the only. So, I see two worlds here. Either Apple says, "Okay, we just need to make the experience better for our users," or they're they just stick with their guns and they say, "Hmm." Now we can make our users angry at Android users. Yeah. So it depends on whether or not they want to weaponize them. Yeah. And um, I think we both agree on what they should do. Yeah. But I also don't know if I would have like betting faith on if that were yeah. to happen. So yeah. I'll be interested to see. I really like that Google's doing something like this because it makes it feel less like let's put a bunch of ads out and like try and make everyone tell Apple they're wrong. Rather, right. it's like, let's take action. Yeah. Let's throw this in their face, see right. how they feel about it and see how they respond to yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. so for the listeners, I apologize if that was extremely confusing. It, um, I'm sure everyone <laughs> had their like red, imaginary red yarn out like Hopefully. going from their heads. But like, I think- We've explained the process a couple times over on yeah. the podcast, so like hopefully you should get to that point. But essentially, TLDR, yeah. correct me if I'm wrong, uh-huh. Google or Android users can basically react to messages, and at this point, iMessage users are probably getting the short end of the stick yeah. because they're getting the, the text, quote-unquote, right. message back to them that it's a react. Right, so now Android users can react with two messages and receive reactions, even over SMS. But Apple users can only send reactions, but when they receive them, they're in text form. My family group chat, I'm just going to react to everyone because <laughs> I 30% of my family group chat is people reacting and text messages coming oh in on gosh. it. I cannot wait to raise hell yeah. back at them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming for you guys. Yeah, so that was only the first change that they, that yeah. they did in this briefing. That was just the longest one because to me, it's the most important one. The most passionate. The most passionate mm-hmm. that I'm about. Um, second announcement, they're adding an in line YouTube player, okay, uh, which is interesting. It's not like share play where when you hit the play button, it's playing it for both of you at the same time. Okay, and that's again because it's like an SMS MMS feature. Like it doesn't require an internet connection. Okay, so that's I guess better. It's um it's like within the app itself, so it's not like it just opens YouTube. It sort of opens YouTube within messages, and you can move it around. But the idea is that you can watch a video and be texting each other while you're okay. watching the video. You know, it's funny because it, it sounds almost like they're, you know, how they've tried to do multitasking for so long where it's like set up two separate apps mm-hmm. on like the same screen. But I don't know a single person who really uses that much. I'm sure they are out there, but this feels like, right. all right, we're going to find the most common situations where th- we wanted people to do this. Mm-hmm. Now let's just bake it into the app. And I think that's yeah. a way, way better idea. Yeah. And Google actually told me that YouTube links are the most common link sent I'm over. I'm not text. surprised by that. At yeah. All. Yeah, which is crazy. Um, And so, like I said earlier, that was sort of the stuff that they're just trying to make the general texting experience better, even over SMS and MMS. But they're also trying to create feature parity with iMessage on RCS. Okay. So they have a bunch of RCS updates. Uh, So now you can reply to messages over RCS. So you can, like, you know, swipe right on it and reply to a specific message. Oh. oh. I didn't even realize I didn't have that before. I didn't realize that. So, like... Sorry, I'm trying to picture this. So similar to like in a Slack thread where rather than continuing the conversation in the group chat, you're almost like replying to a specific Correct. one line. It's still going in the chat, okay. but it shows what you're replying to. Okay. So that's really good for um, group conversations, for example. Yes, for if sure. multiple people are, are talking and you didn't reply in time, you can just reply to a specific message. So it doesn't look like you're responding to something totally different yeah. and off subject. Totally. Okay. And iMessage has had that forever. So. All right. I did not know that. Yeah. Today I learned. Yeah. yeah. So they're just trying to, they're they're really trying to bring RCS up to feature parity. Mm-hmm. Um, 
that is super useful. They are adding voice transcription to the Pixel 6, 6 Pro, 6a, and the Galaxy Fold, Fold Floor and Flip Floor. And if you don't know what voice transcription is, it's basically at the Pixel 7 launch event, they showed off this feature where in Google Messages, if someone sends a voice note, the other person can just read what they said instead of listening oh, to it. That's awesome. Yeah, and this was funny because since it was shown off at the Pixel event alongside all of these other features that were quote unquote Tensor exclusive, I think a lot of people assumed that it was a Tensor only feature. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not because it's coming to Pixel 6, 6 Pro, 6a, and the Galaxy Fold 4 and Flip 4. Uh, so I asked them like, do you guys have processing requirements for this? And they basically just said they're working with OEMs on a like model by model basis. Okay. They just wanna make sure that it's running a chipset that's fast enough to do that parsing. Obviously that's accelerated on Tensor, but you know, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 oh, is gonna yeah. be able to do it fine. Yeah. Uh, real quick about, I'm trying to like, at first when you say like, voice memo transcription or not voice memo but like voice sending message. a voice message yeah. transcription first i'm like that's really awesome it reminds me of like voicemail transcription pretty much right like yeah i still think that's one of the best inventions on a smartphone right. ever because i hate listening to voicemails um but then i'm also like the majority of people how many people still send voice memos rather than just voice to text which is i guess essentially just doing this reverse later yeah but like most times i i guess I could see it in a world where, as an example, uh, I've had older people in family try and send voice to text and you just get a whole lot of extra at the end because they don't know how to end it correctly. So maybe a voice memo is easier for them to send and then I can get it back in text. I would agree with you. I think that they are just trying to allow for as many different permutations of communication as possible. Which, it, yeah. Ultimately, I think is good. Sorry. Yeah, if, if some people want to, you know, sometimes you want to hear someone's voice. It is nicer to hear someone's voice, Fair. you know? However, I have a few friends that send a lot of really? voice memos and I hate it uh, because I'm very rarely in a position where I can listen to it. I have yeah. to either be, I have to be wearing headphones to be able to li to listen to what you just texted me. Yeah, <laughs> that, very true. To me, it defeats the entire purpose, but yeah. a lot of people like doing it and like, it is if, the only correct way to communicate. Adam loves it because he feel does it all the time with his friends, but yeah. I'm the more we're having this conversation, the more I'm feeling like an old man because <laughs> I do not understand any of these communication things that you youngins are doing. Yeah, um, we're like the same age. <laughs> well, <laughs> shut up, Adam. I think that honestly, at the end of the day, if you can have as many possible ways to communicate as possible, that's the best. I thing. agree 100%. Yeah, because yeah. people like to communicate in different ways. So it is just ironic that when you are sending that voice message, you have the option of either just doing voice to text or sending a voice memo. And then when the other person transcribes it, it's just voice to text. Yeah, it's again. like, would you like this to be text now or later? Or later. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. so, you know. Well, options, yeah. It's another option. Um, you can now also star messages to remind you to answer them, which is kind of cool. I would, I like that because I would rather that than my Google messages trying to predict the like, you haven't responded to this in right. four days. Like sometimes it's like, yeah, because I didn't need to. I don't know why you really thought I wanted to. So I'd rather be able to st be like, I do want to respond mm -hmm. to this later. Like right now I'm seeing it in a situation where I can't respond to it rather than the top of my inbox being a bunch of old random messages totally. that I never wanted to respond to. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to be making use of this feature. What's really funny is like uh, Gmail a while ago added this feature that if you get an email and you open it, but you don't reply to it, it'll say, hey, you received this a few days ago. Mm -hmm. Do you want to reply to it? Or if you send someone an email and they don't reply, after a few days, it'll be like, you sent this four days ago. Do you want to follow up? Yeah. And so now they're basically doing the same thing in messages, which is kind of cool. And I think that they're, in a way, sort of seeing email and messaging as sort of this ubiquitous kind of free-flowing thing because... They already added in Google Messages three separate tabs for different types of text that you're getting. There's an all tab, there's a personal tab, and there's a business tab now. That's in Messages? Yes. Sorry, I'm looking right. Oh. Yeah. You know, I've always seen that, <laughs> and I've never actually done anything so about it. Business most, is basically just right. all the spam crap most that I people, get. Most people, their business messages will just be like spam stuff. However, this is also related to another update that they're making. 
uh, which I don't know how much this is going to actually happen. Okay. But now in Google Maps, if you if a business supports this, a business can chat with you over RCS. Um, to me, this feels like a very like five to ten years down the line thing when RCS is more widely adopted. Okay. But effectively, it's like if you want to communicate with a business and say like, hey, are you guys open today or whatever, they'll be able to literally chat with you through your messages app. Sorry. Thank you. This is a pretty old iOS feature. Uh, no, get out of here. Well, okay. Also, WhatsApp. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think, uh, I just think... use WhatsApp. I... Whatever. I like Just this. use WhatsApp, Screw... guys. <laughs> get out of here. Yeah. Turn your mic off. I like it. Yeah. I mean, like Ellis said, um, I think iMessage has a feature on Delta that I use occasionally when I'm using an iPhone that instead of calling them and waiting to talk to a representative forever or like waiting through their web portal, you can literally iMessage with somebody. Okay. Which is so much nicer. Uh, and like, I totally agree with this because if there is a situation on like a support website where it is call or chat live with somebody, I will click chat live 1000% of yeah. the time. And I would Same. much rather do that. Yeah, we don't um, want to talk on the phone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I yeah. Um, and now, like I said earlier, there's that starring thing where you can star messages to go back to them. There's also now suggested starring. So if someone says something like, oh, this thing is happening Tuesday at five, it'll ask you, hey, do you want to star this? Or like, do you want to add Remember? a calendar event directly from this? And they have they actually have that in Gmail, too. Yeah. So I think that I think that Google just thinks of communication as sort of like there are parallels between every form of communication and we should sort of add feature parity to, you know, Gmail and yeah. messages and whatever iMessage is doing. And it's sort of just trying to make it as ubiquitous as possible, which I like. So yeah, my big my biggest takeaway is let's add iMessage feature parity to RCS so that people stop complaining about RCS. Mm -hmm. And for the people that don't have RCS in the meantime, let's make SMS messaging as good as we can with the limitations we have. For sure. Yeah. So that was I, a lot. I like that. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I'm excited for it. I mean, I think in the tech world, messaging and Android have a, have had a rift at yeah. all times. I still think they do have a rift. Yeah. I like that they're working. On, like what I really appreciate about this, especially with like the Emoji React things, it's like we want people to go to RCS. But we know not everyone's there. Let's make their experience also better. Even though, like, so many companies will be like, we've taken the next step. We don't care about the previous mm -hmm. steps anymore. So, this is like taking the next step and still supporting the old step. Right. And I really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And I think it will ultimately help the next step grow because yeah. then everyone's getting used to those yeah. features and going forward. And now they're also uh, like, making the other step over to the side right. a, a little <laughs> yeah. messy and maybe yeah. make them take a step back so they can take a step forward but yeah. we'll all see how that I think this out. is going to put a little bit of pressure on Apple uh, I don't think Apple is ever going to support RCS unless they legally have to um, <laughs> I'm sure the EU at some point might do something that will be too. very interesting uh, but for now at least the SMS experience is getting better exactly so I'll yeah. take that thank you guys so much for watching that clip you know when you hit the subscribe button on YouTube and it sort of gives you that little animation similar to when you hit the love emoji oh. reaction on Google Messages. So if I subscribe now, your SMS will get a subscription reaction? I will reaction? get like 50 messages Whoa. at the same time that oh. all give me hugs. Ooh. You yeah. should try that. What yeah. about the like button? The like the like button is even better. The like oh. button emphasizes all of the messages. Ooh. So I just everyone like loves a good emphasis. Exclamation points everywhere. It makes me feel very excited. If you don't, David will feel very frowny face emoji. Very very frown very frowny face. And I know that you just want to click. I know you just want to click. Your mouse ain't broken. Just click it. Just click it. Click it good. <laughs> you know?